In today's video, we will discuss resource histograms in Microsoft Excel using pivot tables and slicers. A resource histogram shows the amount of work hours assigned to each of your resources on the project throughout the project's life cycle. In our case, we have a six weeks long project. We have four people working on the project, person number one, number two, number three, and four. The number of work hours assigned to each of the resources in each of the week are shown in here. Using the slicers here, I can filter out specific resources or maybe specific weeks. For example, if I want to see only the person one throughout the project's life cycle, I will click person number one from here and as you can see, the number of working hours assigned to this specific resource in the project are shown in the chart here. Or in other case, I want to see the total working hours assigned to all the resources, for example, in week number three. So in here, I'll clear the filter and in here, I'll select week number three. And as you can see, person number one, two and three and the amount of work hours assigned to them are shown in here. In today's video, we will discuss about preparing a resource histogram using pivot tables and slicers in Microsoft Excel. As you can see this information in here, I have the resource names, the week names, and the total work hours assigned to each of the resources in that week. So the first thing that I'm going to do is in order to prepare a pivot table is to convert this data into a table. To do that, I'll press Ctrl plus T. In here, my table has headers which are shown in here and I'll click OK. This information will be converted into a table. The next thing is to summarize this information with a pivot table or I can go to insert and from here I'll click the pivot table. So in here they will ask me for the name of the table, where I want to locate the table, so I'll select a new worksheet and I will let the name as it is. I'll click OK. So my pivot table will be created in a new sheet. From here, I'll bring the resource name under rows and the weeks under columns and the work hours under the values. Now I'll go to pivot table tools and from here I'll insert a pivot chart. I'll select the first column chart and click OK. Next thing is to insert slicers for this chart. So again, I'll click the table and from analyze, I will go to insert slicer, I'll insert a slicer for resource name and another one for week name. I'll click OK. From here, for example, if I click only person one, the amount of work hours for that person for all the weeks will be shown in here. And if I remove this filter and from here, I'll select only one week. As you can see, the number of work hours for each resource in that specific week will be given in here. I can copy all of these and paste them into a new sheet. So I'll select both of the slicers. I'll hold the control key, select the slicer and select the table. I'll press control plus C and I'll add a new sheet in here and this sheet, I'll paste all of them. You can further edit your slicers by clicking the slicers in, in the slicer tools. And from here, we will go to new slicer style and we can change the font, the fill and everything that we need. Since I have created this one already, I'll click this one for this and I'll click this one for this as well. If you don't want to see these buttons on the chart, go to Pivot Chart Tools. From here, from the field buttons, we will go and hide them all. If you wanted to make changes to the chart, right click the chart and from here, go to Format Chart Area. You can format your chart and the elements in the chart. You can add a solid fill, for example, and select a color and everything that you want. So this is how you can prepare resource histograms using pivot tables and slicers in Microsoft Excel. If you like the content of the video and want to see more, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Besides that, we post daily about project management and civil engineering on our Instagram and LinkedIn pages as well. Consider visiting them too. Thank you very much for watching.